course, everything over here is stealing, so I might as well stop looking at it. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I kind of want to do it, but, you know, there's a safe back here, too. I don't want to get in there. Trudy, let me get all up in that, please. Either one, really, huh, baby? <laughs> no, but really, let's talk to Trudy here. We're open for... Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon blows himself off on camera like an idiot after being so cocky about avoiding the first time around. AKA that long title, in case you don't want to call it that long title, it's just Falcon plays Fallout 4, obviously. At the end of the last episode, if you caught that, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about, otherwise you don't know. And if you don't know, then... Well, I guess now you don't know, really. Sorry, Notorious VIG, I couldn't really complete that. Uh, this place is booby-trapped, apparently. I almost blew myself up last time, and I'm now worried about going forward, so I'm going to take this really carefully here. There's a bunch of stuff over here for us to pick up, though, so I am interested in that. If we don't find anything else over here, though, I'm going to go and start looking for another location. There is, um, this area that we're at here, we could actually break it down and um, go into our workshop menu so I could get a lot of equipment here. Or at least materials for us, and build stuff if I really wanted to, which I probably will down the line, but I don't want to do that on camera, it would take too long. You know, this radio probably needs to go off because, um... You might trigger a content ID, so I'm sorry, radio. Cannot blow up in my ear right now. Nuka Cherry, I'll take that. Sure, I'll take the Nuka... I like how I was highlighting the root, but it was like, no, no, you want the bottle instead. It's like, okay, sure, if you say so. Gumdrops. I'm really not finding too much crazy stuff over here, but... I got the rolled Boston Bugle coffee cup and potato crisp. Oh, you gotta have your potato crisp all the time. And that's about it, huh? You see anything over here, puppers? Anything useful, really? Nothing too useful, huh, puppers? Yeah, I know. We'll come upstairs, though. Now, let's take this carefully. There's no saying there's going to be no other traps going all the way up here. Uh, let's see. We have a walkway over through here. Aluminum can. Tin can and beer bottle. And that's it. Okay. Go up a bit more. Let's really quickly take a detour, though. Find out what's going on over here. Not much. And not much. Okay. Can I just go around? Oh, yeah, I can. I do it in Don't scare me that way. Let's go upstairs one more time. No. This guy probably killed himself. Straw pillow. And dirty water. I like how the dirty water looks like in those little cartons. Like, and it's just this dirty water. <laughs> I'm not why. I'm not sure why, but it really tickles my fancy. Pompadour wig! Oh, my God. That sounds pretty cool. Lantern. And, yeah, I guess I'll take your pistol for now. You're not going to be using it, are you, Skeletor? Yeah, I don't think so. You you might be gone to the world now. Sleep here if I wanted to. And a few bullets as well. It's really upsetting that there's no notes about this guy. But I would love to have read into him. Then again, there's really not much to look into, probably. Guy killed himself. End. There you go. Alrighty, well, not much in this drive-in. At least we do know we could kind of scrap it down for some materials down the line. Let's uh, look at our little mini-map here and find out if there's any other location. There was that little hallway, or not hallway, but that highway that I kind of wanted to check out. I guess it's a possibility right now, too. Let's get out into a road first, and... What was that? Oh! Wild carried flowers, I do want you guys. Uh-huh. Let's look at our map here. So, we have the drive-in under our belt. If I just turn around over here, is that just going to be Lexington or Cordeva? Yeah, more than likely. There's something down this way, though. Straight up ahead. And I guess that's where we're gonna go. Because I'm interested in doing some traveling and some more exploration. Plus, the more of these that we find, it'll be easier to travel around the map once we could just... Jesus Christ, Dogmeat, what the hell is your problem? Um, the more of these locations we find, it'll be easier for us because we'll be able to fast travel faster. Then again, I don't think we're done here completely, huh? No, we're not. I was worried about the radiation landfill there, but apparently there's more stuff to check out over here by the... Or I, I imagine where the screen would probably be at. In a drive-in here. How can I tell? Oh, you know, there's a giant big screen here. Yeah, maybe. Gave it away a little bit. Beer bottle. Beer bottle. I like to imagine that's what really happens with the... Um, maybe not these days, because, you know... <laughs> maybe back in the days, you know, you'd have like a bunch of people just coming in watching the drive-in movies. Oh, god damn it. Wrong area. Uh, but then you have all the people that work here just um, during the time the movie's going on. They're just back here behind the screen just getting drunk and shit. Getting really rowdy. So people are watching the movie and they're like, you know, what's that noise? They're like, no, it's part of the movie. It's like, no, no, I don't think it's part of the movie. That man's lips are not moving and I hear some, like, you know, whispering going on. Dog meat, please. I'm trying to pick stuff up. 
Oh, <laughs> he's like making sure that I'm picking up the canned dog for you. Saw that? It's like, hey, hey, dog, pick this up. <laughs> well done. Well done, dog meat. I give that up to you, my friend. I will pick that up just for you because that's really good. Gas canisters? Alrighty. Alright. Any other things here to pick? Not, ooh. That's just Lexington, isn't it? Or. No, that would probably just be uh, Commonwealth or Concord, whatever the hell it's called. I'm still not really comfortable with the names just yet, so we can unlock this. Not that way. And, ah, I broke that one. I feel like I'm breaking a bunch of pins, like in this game, just because I'm just not being too steady about things. I'm just kind of rushing yes. a little bit, yeah. I will admit. When you're trying to record a bunch of these with as much little time as possible that I have, I try to record as much as possible, make as much progress as possible, so I'm not really necessarily taking my sweet time, you could probably say. Um, ooh, I saw a noodle soup here for a second. We can make some purified water out of the dirty water, which we will. And... More rat chungs. Those we already know we can make, so... Let's get a few of these up and running. Anything else? Yao Guai. Guai, whatever. That's that wolf bear thing that I was mentioning. Noodle cup. So... Was soup available to us initially, or is that because this is kind of like a quote-unquote upgraded work, um, stove station? Because there's different levels, like the little cooking pot is level 1. I guess this will be a level 2 one, which is uh, giving me more recipes. Or maybe I'm wrong about this, but it feels that's how it's going to probably work out. Um, so dirty water and razor grain can make us noodle cups. Sure. We could only make one, unfortunately, though. That's fine. It's going to be 40 HP and barely any weight. 20 value. Cool. I'm, I'm okay with this. I like just messing around and building stuff randomly for no reason. Like, it feels like in this game, at least, it's kind of like, um... It's, uh, it's a ne not a necessity, I would say, but at least it's rewarding to do it in this game, it does feel. Like, you know, in the older Bethesda Fallout games, anyway, at least I'll say it that way, um, you could just basically buy the entire game on stim packs and you're like, you know, whatever. But at least this game at least kind of, like, you know, rewards you for picking up food and using food. Greaser jacket and jeans? Oh! <gasps> Oh, God. Is it time? Is it time? I think we're about to go Fallout 3 up into shit pretty soon. We'll find out. One second. Let me just pick all this stuff up here. What do you think, puppers? Turn into a greaser? I think you want me to turn into a greaser. It's going to be probably terrible stats, but hey, it's all about fashion sometimes, you know? Get, get out of here, puppers. I'm going to put that on as soon as we find out what's in here, though. No more traps, huh? Better not be. Used oil cans, cabinets, cabinets. Economy Wonder Glue. That is really, really good. It gives you a bunch of adhesive um, units back in your, um, well, whenever you do some workshop stuff. So, I've been reading in the comments, people are like, you know, Falcon, keep an eye out for Economy Wonder Glue. You'll miss it whenever you can. Oh! No, no, don't don't strike anything. You'll miss it whenever you can find it. And I've at least picked up two of them so far, and I am already enjoying them quite a bit. There's a Nuka Quantum back there, I think is what it's called. Pick all this stuff up. Wonder Glue. Aluminum can. Let's take a little quick peek. Nothing else. Random bullet. Take that. I like how this is a random bullet. Ha! Ah! Ah! <laughs> you rat roach. I like how there's a random bullet in a at a, at a drive-in. You know, like little tool shed, really. Was it there before the bomb drop or after? Though that's a very good question. One that I cannot answer right now. Probably never can do. Maybe you guys can answer it for me. I'm carrying too much. Okay, that's okay. That's what I have puppers for. I will load some stuff onto them pretty soon. No worries there. We do have a safe expert. Yes, Falcon. Didn't Falcon pick up expert lockpicking not too long ago? I believe he did. For this reason alone. Alright, so now I have to be a bit more vigilant about this. So, okay, we can move down this way. Ah, look at that. I almost got into first try. <laughs> so it's not downwards, but upwards a little bit. There you go. Wow, look at this guy. Apparently with those harder ones, I'm good. With the shitty ones, I break them all the time. Hardened Raider right leg. Tactical. Ooh. That's kind of similar to the one that we already have, though. But yes, I will be taking everything in here. Uh, puppers, do me a solid here. Let's do some trading, dog. Don't, don't, don't attention whimper me, okay? Uh, let's see here. Uh, I need to get rid of all the junk that I have, and I'll just toss it on to you. So... Don't take all, but store everything. Is there? I, I wish there was like a mass store shortcut as well. But hey, look at this. We're about to get really, really low. Hopefully like in the 160 range would be pretty good. Kind of close. Hey, 
We might actually make it, Falcon. 164, pretty good. Alrighty. Now, anything else I'm going to toss on you? Maybe the misc items, perhaps? Uh, misc items? No, no, these aren't really too... They don't weigh much. If at all. I think that's fine. Oh, you know, I should really put my suit back on. But before we do that, or my equipment back on. But before we do that, I forgot that I was in my charismatic appeal over here. But before we do that, we have a greaser outfit, don't we? Let's find out what this greaser outfit looks like. Snake tunnel? Oh, no. No. It's not quite the same, though, is it? Dad and I really have no idea how to <laughs> holster my weapon. What? Is it funny to you? I don't know how to holster it. I keep holding on the button that equips it, but that doesn't work, and... I mean, that's not gonna do it. How do you holster the goddamn weapon? I gotta find this out. Okay, it's just R. You hold down R and it'll holster. Okay. Hey, he's looking at you, kid. I'm not sure. I think that the uh, the cowboy hat kind of ruins the, the whole look. Not that it looks too great to begin with. I'm not too crazy about this greaser look, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and... What's your luck, too? Huh. What about this pompadour wig, though? Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I'm not sure why you're naked here. Oh, look at that pompadour wig. You know? We just want to blend into the uh, male crowds, I guess. Alright. Let's uh, continue. Where do we want to go? That's Concord, if I'm correct. So, not that way for sure. We saw another location, though, which was down towards here. It does seem, right? Alrighty, puppers. You leap the way. Make sure to scout stuff out. If you find any items, let me know. I tend to miss stuff quite easily. Jump over this thing here. Yeah, I guess I'll come back to this uh, drive-in at some point and just uh, break it down for material pieces. Here is another little location. Cool. At least it's kind of nearby. I don't we have to travel. Deal, Trudy. Hand nope. over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. What the Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Trudy? I heard people talking. Um, the subtitles didn't show up for one, which kind of freaked me out. Where are, where are these people at? Okay, they're inside. Trading outpost. Oh my god, we'll finally get a barter. Drumlin Diner. Okay. Let's uh, find out who the villains might be here. This is Wolfgang. Amadeus. Oh, oh, Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Wolfgang, Amadeus. I don't... Is it Wolfgang? That's no, not Wolf. It's Wolfgang Puck? Wolfgang Puck. I think now that's a Marvel character or some sort of whoa, comic whoa. book character. Easy there, scabber. This doesn't involve you. I'm just hanging out, dude. You want me to holster the weapon? Okay, here we go. One second. What? One second. One, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me put my charisma stuff on just in case. Uh, we might be able to talk this out, guys. Clean gray suit. Put this. I really hate having to do this every single time, but whatever. And does the pop the pop the wig does give me some charisma. That's great. But however, we also have the the hat, the militia hat, which is a plus one charisma, I guess. So not That's really right. a big deal. Walk away. I'm not gonna walk away. I'll be there pretty soon. I just wanna make sure I'm looking dashing over here. Alrighty. The most charismatic person in the world's here now. Don't you guys worry one bit. What seems to be the trouble, huh? Hey. I thought I told you this ain't any of your concern. Don't point those guns at me. That dog will rip you to shreds right now. Lower your gun. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. <laughs> we'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. That's what I'm talking about, you know? Black Widow perks, thank you so much. Uh, what's going on? Sarcastic. Demand money. What the hell is that over there? Is that a Brahmin or is that a, a vicious creature? See that back there moving? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this, but I saw this thing moving back there. It just freaked me out a bit. It might be a Brahmin. Uh, what's going on? Let's find out. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy's sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. Wanna make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. Uh, join the attack or talk to Trudy. Okay, let's find out about Trudy first. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, 
I might have sold him some jet, then some more, then a lot more. Now he's in debt. You're a scumbag, Jet. You're both wrong. They should pay. Ah, uh, let's go with uh, you're both wrong, I guess, maybe? Looks to me like they shouldn't have bought that Jet, and you shouldn't have sold it to them. Yeah, well, hindsight's a bitch, and I'm holding the leash. Now, you gonna help us out, or what? I'm not sure how I feel about this one. You know, if you're... Drug, if you're a drug dealer, obviously you're selling drugs to people out there and unfortunately either just enjoy the drugs or happen to be in unfortunate states of being. So I'm not sure who's really to blame. You know, if you're the addict who continuously goes to buy drugs or if you're the one selling them, like it feels like, you know, it's a, kind of like a halfway thing, you know? Selling drugs bad, buying drugs, getting hooked just as bad too. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so why should I ask, uh, join the attack, talk to Trudy? Let me ask, let me talk to Trudy. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, We'll back you up. You're gonna back me up? Is Trudy really gonna be that scary or what? Let's find out. Trudy? Uh, obviously, I have my charisma stuff on, but as that is, that's her drugged out son there, probably. Nice haircut, bro. Alright, Trudy, I'm just here to talk, okay? I'm just here to talk. Hi. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Alrighty. Why not? Offer help, threaten her, or end peacefully. Let's try to end this peacefully because I do hopefully can trigger the charismatic uh, thing that we're going for here. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. Alright, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. All right. We finally have a, a, a person to buy stuff to and hopefully sell stuff to and buy stuff from. I'm actually quite interested in that. All right, good. Um, Wolfgang, that's just completely creepy, dog. Just hanging out over here after you muscle these people out of money. Can't you just, like, leave? Let's go down to Simone. <clears throat> I'm the muscle, babe. Just don't piss me off, all right? Eh, you really don't want to try it, Simone. <clears throat> we get paid, and I don't even got to shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer. Oh, so we got 100 caps, we got to level up. And he also sells you caps. Alrighty, let's, um, barter let's here. You, have. you got needs, I got product. Uh, aid. Addicto. Cures all addictions. That sounds pretty useful down the line at some point. Uh, I'm assuming I get hooked on anything. We have 823 caps right now. This is going to be costing us 293, huh? Alrighty. Blood packs. Mm, just for health regeneration, right? Uh, Radaways would be really, really good. Purified water. That sounds pretty good too as well. Just because um, we might be able to make some pretty interesting stuff at the um, chemical place with it. And also when we start cooking perhaps. So purified water is indeed here. It costs like 36 each though, huh? Radaways are at 144. I have like a couple of them, I want to say. If I do decide to go into that, um, what was it, the, the thicket place with the big dam where I have to go underwater with all that radiation, I might maybe try it with a bunch of Radaway, assuming there's no other alternative method for it. But we'll see. Stimpaks are 86, Radaways are 144. Alrighty. Stuff I traded off to him and then, okay. Well, that's cool. I just wanted to find out what this is going to be about. Uh, let's talk to Trudy. Maybe she has some more interesting stuff over here for us, too. Out of the way, dog, man. Let's talk to the, uh, drug addict here. We can't pick up anything over here, though. That is for a fact. Maybe had I killed Trudy, this place would have become available for me to loot. But, you know, let's just keep some NPCs alive. What's going on, Patrick? Hey there. Never take a hit at Jad again, I swear. That's what you say now, Patrick. God, his chain just itching all over. See? He's an addict. He's got that itch. He wants to go back to it already. Can't help out a person like that sometimes, man. Alrighty, let's see. Of course, everything over here is stealing, so I might as well stop looking at it. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I kind of want to do it, but, you know, probably not for the best, huh? There's a safe back here, too. I don't want to get in there. Trudy, let me get all up in that, please. Either one, really, huh, baby? <laughs> no, but really, let's talk to Trudy here. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. 
How about you buy something and make it up to us? You know what? You're alive, thanks to me, okay? Those guys are gonna probably overrun you and your cam addict son over here, okay? Let's, uh, let's ask you to do things okay. covered from here? Yeah. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? You know, out of curiosity, um, Wolfgang over there sells the addict doll, so you could just get rid of all his addictions right now. <laughs> you know, I'm just being facetious, let's see what honestly. You have. But... All salvage, but nothing's junk. Cool. I like junk, as a matter of fact. Now, ooh, what is this? This has a star next to it, too. Does 50% more damage against robots. General Chow's Revenge. Bro, I kind of want this. I mean, I am a melee-based class, right? So, ho <laughs> ho Be sure to... Actually, we might be able to sell off enough stuff to make it happen right now, but I don't necessarily want to be completely broke going forward, so I'll just make sure to remember that she has General Chow's Revenge over here, which is useful against robots, too. I think this will do for now. We have a few fusion cores back home anyway. This will do for now. So let's go ahead and accept this trade. And we're done here. Okay. So we have now established that we have finally a place that we can come over here and buy stuff and sell stuff too, which is great. What is that over here? What's going on over here? Random area? Looks like there was a dude in there. Is there a dude in there? No. No dude. No dude at all. And Edatronic activate. I'll open it up. No food, though. Ah, it's been picked clean. Pack of cigarettes. I'll pick those up, though. Anything back there? Nope. All right. There you go. What is that going to lead to? Is that just back to Concord? Yeah, kind of. We have a level up. i got to use that up pretty soon. And we have a location down straight ahead over here. Seems like another one of those fills, though. And then we have what should be... Yeah, that area there. Okay. I think next episode we probably run down towards this little plantation thing, or is that another settlement area? Oh, it is! Okay, you know what? Let's uh, actually head towards this little thing on my map here, my radar down here. Like a little tent thing. We'll go there next time around. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot. I will catch you next time.